I am in New Smyrna right now, just uh, near Highway 95 and 44, and I just uh, met up with Mr. Steve-O, one Canevo, right there, getting the shots that he needs for his, uh, for his vlog. Uh, we're going up to the Daytona International Speedway for the Supercross race. Uh, it should be pretty cool. I'm also going to do a uh, moto vlog as well. But this is going to be fun, Jeff. Yep, check him out, Steve-O, one Canevo, on YouTube. Getting on the 95, going north. Mr. Steve-O, one Knievo to my right. Get on the highway. I don't think I've ever done a, uh, a motor vlog on the highway yet. Here in the middle lane. Haven't done that yet at all. Beautiful day here in Florida. I'm looking forward to seeing the Supercross race. I've never seen it before. Never seen a race. Well, I've seen that MotoGP before, but that's about it. And he had to ride all the way up from Miami, so he had a nice three, three and a half hour trip. And now he's on the final stretch of his day. It was fun. We had some lunch, got some B-roll, shot, you know, vlog footage and whatnot. Oh man, this is what it's all about right here. Just open road in Florida on your motorcycle and my bike is uh, pretty damn loud although I think it'll be okay here uh, you'll also notice new uh, camera I've got my GoPro 7 now the black edition so the stabilization and all that should be much better than it was in the past as you see here, we're in uh, fifth gear right now, doing 3,500 RPM. And Steve-O's got the F800 GS BMW. He's got his uh, GoPro mounted on his helmet. But yeah, I've been thinking a lot about uh, getting back into aviation big time, like, uh, you know, doing my BFR, uh, getting my IFR rating. I've always wanted to get my IFR rating. I've just been waiting for a, uh, a good time. And when's a better time than, you know, down here in Florida when it's beautiful. And there's so many opportunities to go flying around here in GA. That's really nice. So I've been thinking about doing that. We'll have to see how it goes. The biggest thing is just getting my medical stuff done. And I'm probably going to go with the uh, lower end, the easy peasy one. I mean, look at that uh, that red car there. It's riding the ass of that. It's a Sequoia, right? That SUV. If I had to guess, I'd say Sequoia, but I'm not really sure if it is or not. The Suzuki is the other one. It is a Sequoia. How about that? I was like, I think it is. <laughs> I got a lot of motorcycles down here this weekend because it is the start of bike week for Daytona. So that's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. I have never been to bike week. I never owned a bike when I first moved down here. And well, now I've been wanting to get into more group rides. And uh, we're going to see a lot of cool bikes down here today. I can tell you that right now. That's a good looking bike. But that's like one of those touring bikes that is, it sits so tall, it's crazy. The other one I'm thinking about is, uh, what is it, a Tenere? I believe, something like that. We're gonna be passing this uh, pick em up truck here. up on 
on the Port Orange exit, Daytona Beach Shores, exit 256. My God, that guy was hauling ass. Look at those guys. <laughs> wow. That was cool. Yeah, we're here uh, at Port Orange exit on 95. Have a lot to see on this uh, particular moto vlog, so I'll probably be chopping things up a little more than usual, a little less, you know, unedited. Give it a different uh, flavor. But the more I ride my Sportster, oh, hello, big time bugs. Wow. I don't know what those were, but you know what? I ride in full gear. Because those hurt when they hit you. No, oh, they were bugs that exploded all over my visor. Hopefully the GoPro made it through without getting a bug on it, but we'll have to see if that's the case. <laughs> no, my luck with that. But I like the uh, the new GoPro uh, case. It's a lot better than it used to be. That's for certain. A lot better. He wants to get over. Go ahead, buddy. Your head. I gotta say, Steve-O's bike sounds pretty damn good. I'm not sure if you can hear it very well, but I can definitely hear it. So I did do some upgrades. Uh, I did get the full finger gloves. I know a lot of people wanted me to do that. I got a recommendation from somebody at the dealership actually about fingerless gloves and I was like okay yeah I, I can I can see both sides of it um, but the more I thought about it I was like you know what I'll just get the uh, full fingered gloves and uh, and that'll be better so that's what I ended up doing I've got my Kevlar jeans on today and uh, I've got a backpack that Nicole got me and it's uh, aerodynamic even it's uh, like a little tortoise shell on my back. It's got all my camera equipment and rain gear and all that. So the game plan is we're riding up here. Uh, they're going to be camping in the infield. I'm going to park my bike overnight, but I'm staying at a hotel nearby. Because I can't fit a tent in... Uh, well, I might have been able to get one in my bag, but really would have been close. I don't have a lot of saddle bags or anything like that on my bike, so... And as you see, Stevo's has got a lot of storage on it, which helps. Like, what do you got in? A Jeep. Looks like he's shooting radar just sitting there. He's not, but, you know. One mile to the four interchange. Yeah, it's a quick ride up here to Daytona. Not bad at all. My route, uh, I took the four up to 44 and took 44 over uh, to the 95. And that was my route today. So I got to ride on the four by myself north of Orlando, and I've never done that. It was a little crazy, I won't lie. Well, the good news is, the um, good news is that there's not a lot of bikes over on this side, but on my way up here, there definitely was. They were getting off of the next exit. That's where my hotel is, right over there. <laughs> oh, we made a wrong turn, so we are going to be going back onto the highway. Fun little on-ramp here. Yeah, we uh, got uh, we passed the, the exit we needed, but it was a lot of road construction. So that's the reason why. So now we're getting back south on 95. All right, this is more like of where we need to be. This is more like it. Hello, big truck. 
get off at 92 and take that over to the speedway. Got a bunch of cars on that truck. That's cool. Down to the right. Oh, yeah. Normally when we uh, come watch the race, we park over here and then walk in. That's the speedway right there behind that Sunoco back there. Ooh -ee. Yeah, so I got a little twisted up there, but that's okay. We're headed towards uh, turn four in the infield, which is down by uh, the very end of this road. Well, this road actually takes you all the way to the beach, which is pretty neat. You can ride your car or motorcycle on the beach. How cool is that? Chinese fire drill. I don't know what the hell that guy's doing. Just got out of that car and starts running forward. And getting in another car. Unbelievable. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god, he got out of that silver car right behind uh, Steve there and then ran around and got in the car in front of him. Oh, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, and he's coming back. Boy, welcome to Daytona, folks. Got some Daytona Beach police cars here, all Impalas, no Ram bars. Citizen Patrol. More bikes over there. And look at it. Daytona International Speedway. All the bikes out front. Tons of bikes for Bike Week. This is cool. Hayabusa. That is a mean bike right there. That thing will eat you alive. That's a cool one too. Two high bushes. God, it is beautiful out. I've got my uh, full leathers on and it doesn't matter. It still feels great. Fantastic. Yeah, I like that one with the uh, black and the gold. That is cool. Really neat stuff. <laughs> He's got the airplane socks on. Nice. Kill the engine. Back it on up. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Side stand down. And we made it to the track. Good call on that one. <laughs> there was nobody there, it was perfect. That was easy. Harleys, gotta love them. I think Steve's enjoying the sports a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I remember when I said I didn't get a tent? Well, I don't know if I told you that, but I didn't get a tent. I ended up getting a hotel room uh, not too far from here, from the track. And uh, these guys are still working on their tent situation. That's uh, Steve's dad there. Uh, that's his tent over there. And they're trying to get this tent situation taken care of. <laughs> The uh, atmosphere is a lot different than, like, uh, say, a NASCAR race or something like that. A lot of bikes around here. I'll have to get some uh, shots. Of, there's a guy doing some stunt riding around here back and forth, which is pretty cool. Um, 
But I plan on bringing all of this inside uh, to watch the actual Supercross stuff. I'm excited. We're just uh, chilling out, having some beers, having a good time.
been to a Supercross uh, event ever, and this is Rylan, and this is Adam. Adam. Okay. Who is your favorite Supercross driver? Chad Reed and Ryan Dungey. Why? Because they're both really good. They're both really good. We've seen them race tonight. Have you guys been very impressed with the racing tonight? Yes. What is your favorite part of what you have seen so far? Um, my favorite part is when them not giving up and keep on having determination and keep on, even though some fell, they just kept on going. What's your favorite part of the night? Like when all the dirt bikes hit one of the finish ramps. Oh yeah, the, the big finish jump. Yeah. I also right love how Ricky Carmichael has made this event really awesome. Yeah, and Ricky Carmichael is one of the first, what, uh, one of the, the biggest Supercross guys yeah. that retired, he and he was here tonight. What did that make? Did you, were you guys excited for that? Yeah. Yes. Like when he came out, we were like, I hope. I. He said he, he almost was, died. He almost died. When Not we, clickbait. When, we, when he found out that Ricky Carmichael was here, he almost stopped breathing. So, so you've been watching since Ricky Carmichael. What what keeps you driven? My dirt bike. He rides a dirt bike, that's why. So how long have you been riding your dirt bike for? Mm, my new one, I've been riding three, two times. So about two weeks. Way more than me. I, I, I ride a, a regular motorcycle, not a dirt bike, but you guys are in it for the right reasons. Very nice to meet these guys. They're very, very cool. And they're, they're the biggest Supercross fans I've met here.
You're on the track, buddy. I'm on the track. <laughs> Eli Tomac won. Amazing. That's who we were rooting for. Look at the sand. Fantastic. Look at the sand. Show me the sand. No. Insane. Look at this. I'm going to go check out that, uh, that turn down here. That was pretty crazy earlier. Wow. Can you imagine riding a bike through this? I can't. Wow, look at the ruts on these things. <laughs> look at the ruts. Amazing night, Eli. Took it home. Holy crap. Uh, won the main event. Okay, that was really cool. Track walk here at the end of the uh, race. Enjoy some Supercross, for sure. And here, look at this. Look at these ruts. Bikes are riding right in that. That is insane. Absolutely awesome. This team's getting the, uh, the final shots he needs for that, but... Dude. <laughs> I was thoroughly impressed with Supercross. It was really, really well done. So Jeff, like a horse manure over here. It, it, it came from a farm. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> What's your uh, final thoughts on uh, Supercross? I'm actually really impressed. It was that good. Like, really good. That's awesome. The smells of horse manure and uh, the racing fuel, that, that made it all for me. I'm glad you joined me on the trip. Absolutely. I uh, have my sunglasses on because they are prescription. And... Uh, that's the reason why. I'm not an asshole, I promise.